The AGM-86B air launched cruise missile is a long-range subsonic, 3,200-pound self-guided missile carried by a B-52 bomber at high and low altitudes. The AGM-86B measures 6.32 meters in length, 0.693 meters in body diameter, 3.65 meters in wingspan, and 1,458 kilograms in launch weight. It traditionally carries a 200 KTW-81 nuclear warhead for a distance of approximately 2,500 kilometers. Additionally, it is propelled by a turbofan engine, and utilizes an inertial guidance system with terrain contour matching. Armed with a nuclear warhead, it is designated ALCM. With a conventional warhead, it is designated CALCM. The missile electronically sees the terrain over which it flies and can travel more than 1,500 miles to hit the target. The AGM-86C configuration features a 3,000-pound class, high-explosive, blast fragmentation warhead and a global positioning system, or GPS, receiver for accurate inertial navigation. The AGM-86D program modifies additional ALCM missiles with an advanced penetrating warhead to quickly provide theater commanders with a long-range weapon to precisely attack an enemy's most valuable facilities. The penetrator warhead allows the missiles to destroy buried or reinforced targets from standoff ranges of hundreds of miles. The missile's wings and tail surface can fold around its fuselage so it can be carried inside or outside the bomber. A B-52, for example, can carry 20 AGM-86 missiles, 8 in a rotary launcher in the bomber weapons bay and another 12 on pylons under the wings. Because of its long range, the missile can be launched far from hostile territory and still reach its target. After launch, the wings and tail unfold and the turbofan engine powers the missile at subsonic speeds. The AGM-86 collects electronic data from the land below, compares the readings with maps stored on its computer and adjusts its flight to reach its destination. It has a low radar cross-section and can cruise at low altitudes, making it hard to detect. In January 1977, the Air Force began full-scale production of the upgraded AGM-86B. The AGM-86B was built as an extended-range variant designed to reduce the distance U.S. bombers had to close with enemy forces. This increased range meant the missile was 2 meters longer than the original design. This prevented the B-1A from carrying the weapon in its internal weapons bay and thus the B-52 was adopted to accommodate the AGM-86B. The B-52 is capable of carrying a total of 20 missiles, 8 on an internal rotary launcher and 2 pylon formations of 3 under each wing. Additionally, the AGM-86B is capable of being carried both internally and externally by the B-1B Lancer. However, due to the Lancer's current non-nuclear role, only CALCM variants are carried over 3,000 AGM-86Bs were scheduled for procurement starting in 1982, but by 1986, production was terminated in favor of the AGM-129. Between 1982 and 1986, 1,715 AGM-86Bs were produced 0.9 currently, the stockpile has been reduced to around 528. In 1998, 
A life extension program was initiated to refurbish the nuclear warheads carried by the AGM-86B and is expected to keep them operational through 2030, until its expected replacement, the long-range standoff weapon, LRSO, enters service. The AGM-86CCALCM variants is an AGM-86B without a nuclear payload. The existence of this model became known only after its use in the 1991 Gulf War. Starting in 1986, a total of 622 AGM-86s were converted to the conventional configuration. Several different variations have been manufactured including Block 1, Minus 1A and the AGM-86D, Block 2. The conversion process entails replacing nearly every part including modifying the engine, updating the guidance systems, and removing the nuclear warhead. Externally, all the AGM-86C variations are the same dimensions as the nuclear-equipped AGM-86B. The base AGM-86C and AGM-86D have a launch weight of 1,750 kg, whereas the Block 1 weighs 200 kg more, at 1,950 kg. The warhead for the base AGM-86C is a high-explosive, heat, unit weighing 910 kg, the Block 1 is a HE weighing 1360 kg, and the Block 2 is a HE, penetration weighing 545 kg. All the models use inertial guidance with GPS updates. It has a reduced range, compared to the AGM-86B, of 1200 km as a result of the heavier payload of conventional explosives.